So that takes that took everything out of the hands of the of the Queensland Parliament to make any rulings on land, and so that's a decision that was passed what about a year about 14 months ago in the Supreme Court in Queensland, and so. What she's done is that she's just basically told the public that the parliament in Queensland has no authority over the land whatsoever. It's between the Aboriginal people now and the governor. So you forget about the parliament because the governor is the representative of the Queen, right? And so we're, our fight is not with the parliament anymore. Our fight is with the governor because they're the ones who are holding everything in trust. They work on the advice of their uh, ministers of state in relation to governance, but the person who has the power is the governor. And that was decided in that court case. And so it's very interesting that you should say nobody owns the land in Queensland. It is all rested according to Justice Philippides in the Supreme Court of Queensland said it's between the governor, the governor holds title to the land on behalf of the Queen. So that's the one we have to, we need to understand. And so when we're talking about um, going forward with treaties and wanting to talk, you know, the thing is that we're not talking to the right people. We've got to understand who you're supposed to be talking with. You've got to understand where the power lies, where is the power, the seat of power. And if we don't know that, where the seat of power is, then really you're just talking to pencil sharpeners, you know. And some of the pencil sharpeners are the ministers who represent themselves in the parliament as the crown. Not true. Not true. They do not have, they have certain powers, what they call um, prerogative powers, Property powers yep. because they're ministers of the Queen. Yes. But the power is the Queen. And what, um, where is he, um, this white fellow I called him this morning, sorry bro. Um, <laughs> but what, what Nick said this morning, what, 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 Nick, what Nick Faulkner said, yeah, where, um, where this here, where he's talking about the Royal Powers Act, you know, these here, they took all this away, you know, now, you know, Gough Whitlam tried to destroy and have no queen. But in reality, right now, the law is that we have seven queens to Australia. Yes. There's seven queens, <laughs> right? We have the Queen of Queensland, Queen of Victoria, <laughs> Queen of every state. Yes. She is an independent queen. <laughs> and not only that, she's an independent queen to the Commonwealth. So there is no one queen of Australia. Get that, understand that. Mm. She's the queen for every state and she came here in 1986 and signed that document mm. in every state yes. of Australia. She travelled around in 1986 oh, right, and she signed that document. So she's the queen of, que queen of Queensland. So when we talk about the Commonwealth here, we have to be very careful mm -hmm. because the Commonwealth does not represent all those states mm -hmm. because all those states have all their, they con have controlling powers. And so we have to be very careful when we talk about jurisdiction. Yeah, we, this is things that we need to understand before we start going off talking about things. <laughs> we have to know who the boss is. In regards to that, um, I think the, what the... Talk up loud so everyone what, can hear. What the um, court sort of finds is that there's not a separate, this is my understanding, there's not a separate queen, there's the Queen of Australia under the Royal Styles and Titles Act, yeah. but she acts as queen in right of the state of New South Wales, in, that's the proper terminology. Yeah. But she's still that one queen. There's only one queen of Australia. Right? No, Royal no, Australia. no. Read no. the act again. Uh, in, in right of. No. Read the act again. How does that affect? When, when you, when you, um, <coughs> what we do is that the Commonwealth, the Commonwealth laws cannot, they cannot pass laws for states unless the states refer those powers to the Commonwealth. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, the Commonwealth law does not represent properly the state. Yeah. So there are, there are, uh, powers of re reservation of powers mm -hmm. that rest yeah. with the states, and that was the yeah. that's the arrangement with the Commonwealth Constitution. Yeah. So we need to understand this very clearly. Yeah. Yeah. How does we that need to understand it. The treaty process is happening in Victoria now. The one that's beginning in South Australia. Now. How does that affect those processes? Because the treaty down there, and I've been going to the meetings, is being done by the Premier of Victoria. Mm. And if he's got no authority, then, that, then we're, we're going down these meetings for nothing. Yes. Eddie, Is Ed. that true? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll respond to that. Yeah, um, in the first place, how kingdoms yeah. took over. There were 53 yeah. countries the Queen took over. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah all the Commonwealth. One is through declaring war, yeah. which they didn't do in Australia. That's right. One is to sign treaties 
which they didn't they do anything wrong, which they didn't. The other one is to concede and to answer brother's question here. Yeah. All what you talk about there is, is yeah, irrelevant. Well, they got rid of the governor general yeah. and they... Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. irrelevant now yeah, to us. Yeah. They installed the common yeah. sale and put it on the document, yeah. so they're saying yeah. it's yeah. a fraud. And, and to yeah. brother here, the Queen is not the Queen of Narissa or her country. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's only us. It wasn't about you. Yes. Yeah. But that's us. That's yeah. Yeah. They're not Queen of our Trinity. Yeah. Because we went through the process. Yeah. Yeah. The government recognises she's sovereignty. The Queen recognises she's sovereignty. Yeah. Yeah. See? Now you've got to do that. Now this here, that three, we challenged the Queen, we went, uh, sent our thing and challenged it. Right. Give us the documents of those three. When did you clear, declare war on us? Right. When did we sign treaty? Give yeah. us the document. And when did we uh, concede? Yeah, yeah. 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 Government knows of that. They yeah. can't produce it anywhere, anytime. Yeah. Yeah. But this is where they're going to trick your brother before okay. you clap. <laughs> <laughs> do you, all the tribes here, do you use have regional land council? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So and they come government. out to you yeah. with what? Ilua? Mm. Yes. That's another name to get you to concede. Yes. Yes. Sign your land yes. away. Yes. When I say it's and irrelevant enough, we're still hooked yeah. up with forestry and we're still hooked up with mining that can walk over us. You know why? Our elders before us signed the yes. Ilua. Voluntarily. Voluntarily. And yes. they signed the land away or the yes. rights away yes. from you. Yes. So don't get tricked with the Illuas. Don't sign it. Yes, don't sign it. That's the government trick on it. In the first place, to get you to concede. Right. And you do it happily, smile on your face, right there. Then you jump up and say, how come I'm not getting royalty from mining it? Well, you the one signed it. See, like that. That's how they come. So be careful, like, learn some simple things like that. Jen. And the same, you know, the same around the same road you take yeah, yeah. the same yeah. direction my young sister and all yeah. power to you. But you do have to chart the same challenge when you talk about jurisdiction. Yes. Yeah. That's the same challenge that you yeah. use. Yeah. Yes. And and you know, on coming back to the Illuas, right. Like Jenny 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 and I you know, we we black and there's a few blacks already studied law. This process happened yeah. This weekend, that? <laughs> That's right. Our dialogue. Yeah. yeah. Now the thing is that what's important here is that if we put those old people up and they, and any young person say we want to challenge that Ilua in a court, the Ilua will be thrown out simply because it's the people have been coerced. They've never had independent uh, um, advice, legal advice. They don't know what they signed. They don't know the consequences of what they signed and the effects it has had. And as a consequence of that, that is not a legally binding contract. Null and void, that's exactly right. Yeah. And then you come back to the table, the working table of the native tribal legislation, remember the A group, the B group, the C group. They're the collaborators of that legislation. And what we always have to be careful about are the collaborators amongst them. Yes. yes. So, so what, we, what we've got here is we've got an organisation, a body of people who have now taken those steps on sovereignty and they've, and they've taken them in small steps. We've been working on this now how many years? Four years or something? You know, and, and we're sort of just, and, and they're the ones who are sort of running with this and they've really got it. I go up there and we all workshop and we have little discussions about it and <laughs> what is the next step, you know. So it's, it's, it's taking small steps, but in terms of those small steps, they are giant strides, yeah? And and quite frankly, now, like my mob out home there with the Uali, like right, we did it, we did the same thing, and we, we've taken small steps. The Queen wrote back to me, because the old people, and they, we got photographs, and all the people signed it, signed the papers to, to the Queen, where we did our UDI. The Queen wrote back to me as Gilla, leader of the Uali, not Michael Anderson, but Gilla, my tribal name. Now. She is recognised in the High Court over here as a foreign head of power, right? So, in in law, when you do a UDI for as a as a as an asserting independent nation state, the Queen has now tied Australia up by saying that I now she wrote to me a letter in response to all our documents and all the stuff that we asserted. She wrote back to me as Gillard, leader of the Aliyah Nation. So that what that does is puts us into a different legal category and a different position in the international law, in the international arena, because she's a foreign head of power. Yeah. 
that's what that high court said she is. Now, 